national unity. I've been trying to think about a way to make a final political video for my channel. And here Joe Biden, our president, goes ahead and provides me with a means to close my video channel forever on a message of positivity, hope, and national reconciliation. After the end of the 2024 presidential election, Joe Biden invited his successor, Donald Trump, to the White House for a meeting to demonstrate national unity. And it occurs to me, and probably many other Americans, that Donald Trump is not Hitler. Joe Biden promised a smooth and orderly transition of power to Donald Trump. You don't promise a smooth transition with Hitler. Politics is a dirty game, and the Democratic Party called Trump Hitler for one reason and one reason only. They called Donald Trump Hitler in order to get the Democrat voters out to vote. It's that simple. If they have to call Donald Trump a fascist, if they have to call Donald Trump a dictator, if they have to call Donald Trump the next Hitler, then they will do that if it means continuing the power, the rightful rule of the Democratic Party. It is simply unfortunate that in the course of the 2024 presidential campaign that the Democratic Party caused several Americans to be shot and murdered at the Butler, Pennsylvania rally this summer in order to perpetuate the power of the Democratic Party. As Joe Biden has made clear this week after the national election of 2024, it was all a gimmick. It was all a game in order to get their base, their supporters, out to vote. It just goes to show that the Democratic Party did not need to vilify Donald Trump and Donald Trump's potential supporters. But I'm trying to stress national unity here. So let's accept Joe Biden's handshake to demonstrate national unity, an America restored, united in purpose. Let us move together into the future with a United States of America, in fact, as well as name. Thank you.